You've probably heard lots of buzz around Apple AirPlay lately, but what the devil is it? It is, in fact, a small feature that's been built into the iOS update 4.2, and it allows you to send music and video straight from your iPhone, iPad, or Touch to a compatible AirPlay device. That's pretty neat. Now, it might look as though we're in one big room with loads of kit in it, uh, but imagine, if you will, you're looking at three systems in three different rooms. So let's start with the lounge. So imagine you've got your TV, or if you're really lucky, a projector, you've got your speakers, and you've got an AV receiver. This is actually the Denon AVR 4311, which is one of the first products in the world to have Apple AirPlay built in. So how do you use it? It's simply a case of starting a track on the iPhone, pressing this little AirPlay widget, which only pops up when it detects an AirPlay-enabled product on the network. We click that. We click on our Denon AVR4311, and given a couple of seconds, we'll get our music right here. But what if you haven't got a product that's already Apple AirPlay-enabled? Well, that is where the Airport Express comes in. The Airport Express is a little device that connects to your Wi-Fi network and can distribute sound using a 3.5mm jack, which also doubles up as an optical, which means you can connect it to pretty much any other bit of audio equipment, like the BNO BO Sound 8. So we've just gone from the 3.5 to the RCA connectors on this. All we do, click that Apple AirPlay symbol again, click on the Airport Express, and again, this will take a couple of seconds, but you'll get your music through the BO Sound. Another cool feature though is once you've actually started the AirPlay connection in the iPod section of your portable, you can then quit out, open another app like Spotify and access all of those playlists as well. So that is your audio covered, but what if you do want to do the same thing with video? Well for that you will need a dedicated Apple product, the Apple TV. So let's imagine this is our bedroom system, we've got an Apple TV connected to a 32 inch television. All you do is quit out of your music open your video library, click on the one you want, and click the AirPlay icon, click on the Apple TV. And again, this will take a couple of seconds because it's video, but there you go, you've got your iPhone's library of videos on your television, and the quality is pretty good. I don't think you'd really realize you were streaming it from a portable. Now, there are a couple of things to bear in mind if you're thinking of starting to use Apple AirPlay. The first is that it needs quite a robust, speedy Wi-Fi network. If the speed drops, you'll get too much buffering and could even get a little bit of dropout. The other thing, of course, is that this isn't really a replacement for a dedicated multi-room system like a Sonos or a Roundfelt or a Logitech Squeezebox. Those systems allow you to have party modes where you play the same music in lots of rooms or just simply control multiple zones at once. This is just a one-to-one -one system. Of course, the thing with those dedicated multi-room systems is that they're expensive, whereas Apple AirPlay comes for free in iOS 4.2. And as more devices come on market with Apple AirPlay built in, it's going to become even more useful. All in all, then, a great new feature for no money at all.